Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mount Summit, Indiana. And as you can see, it's been raining for quite some time now, actually three days, but the fall is here. Hey guys, Tampa Jay here, and welcome to one of my favorite places, but also welcome to my favorite time of the year, the fall. The Halloween season is upon us, of course, but also here in Indiana, that brings us apples, pumpkins, donuts, apple donuts, we're about ready to see that, and just all kinds of fun festivities. But I'm here at Jacob's Family Orchard. This orchard's been here since right after World War I, I was told. And as you can see, there is very much ahead, my friends, even though the weather is a little, a little rainy, but there's very much ahead. So we're gonna head first inside and check out this giant apple. It's really cool. Jacob's Family Orchard. Once you stop right inside the front door, you can see there's plenty of apples here, but plenty of other items, apple related and apple not related. Over across there, there's the apple cider, but over in the corner is what I'm smelling right now. It's the fresh donuts. And let's check those out. Fresh, hot apple cinnamon donuts. And if you look down here, these young ladies here are making them right now. One dozen for seven dollars, or a half dozen for four and seventy-five cents each. I'd say that's a deal. So over here we're making apple cider. Hey, Davin. Yeah. So what are we doing here today? Um, today we're sorting apples, seeing which ones are good enough to sell, and which ones are cider apples. All right. And so basically, you're just picking the stems off, checking them? Um, we take the leaves and the actual sticks off. We see if there's any like bad marks like okay. that. Yeah. And if it does, it goes into the cider bin. If not, then we put it in bags like this and we sell them for eat. How about them apples? Yeah. Look at that conveyor belt. Oh, that's really cool. So what's feeding it? But those apples are coming in from outside? Yeah, right there. Right there. Oh, okay. We put all the apples in the crate and then we lift it up and it brings them right in. Oh, that's very cool. Bags and bags of fresh apples, all picked here behind the store in the apple orchard. And of course, you can't have an apple orchard without some caramel apples. Ooh, those look good. As you can see, it's a happening place. There's been people coming and going. I've been here 30 minutes and it's been non-stop. And it is a Sunday, so pretty busy. And wow, I, I wish I could describe to you the scent. Oh man, it smells good if you like apples and butter and sweet stuff. That's a great place to be. It's good to be back in Indiana and enjoy the things that I miss sometimes being in Florida, especially apple orchards. It takes me back to times when, you know, my parents used to take my brother and I out to the orchard to pick a pumpkin, to get some apples, drink some cider. It's just a good feeling, and I'm glad I could bring you back here so you could see me enjoy it. I wish you were here, too. I wish you could enjoy it right here with me. As you can see, they have a sugar-free section and lots of jam and jellies and honeys, but check this out. For three bucks. There we go. And I was looking for a new pair of glasses too. So you can either get apple cider frozen on ice, or hot apple cider, which would be really good right now because it's a little cold outside. And no apple orchard is complete without an awesome watchdog. Well, out back around the corner of the building. You have this giant play area for the kids. And obviously there's no kids out here because it's raining, but I'm going out here. I don't care what the weather is. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Let's see if we can get close. And also you can pet the little billy goats, the miniature goats. Look how cute they are. Hey guys, what's going on little buddy? Oh, these things are adorable. Look at them. Look at that little one over there. Hey dude, what's going on? Here's an awesome photo opportunity. You can stick your head 
and the apples, or you could be driving the truck, but look across the street, there's the actual Oliver tractor with the wagon for the actual hay rides. Now, I would have loved this when I was a kid, but underneath these straw bales, there's all these tunnels, and you can crawl right through to the other side, and that's where I was just pointing. That tunnel ends right in there and goes around here. Wow, and then there's an actual pyramid. Let's go up there. I'm at the top of the pyramid. Look at this. This is awesome. And behind me, you can see the actual apple orchards and the trees. You see the, the boxes over here where they throw the apples in. And that's where they were feeding that. They were using those buckets to feed the conveyor belt inside in order to sort the apples to make the apple cider. Wow, it's cold and rainy, but this is cool. But look about over here behind me. It's a combine made into a playground. There's a slide coming off of it. Let's go check it out. Whoa, this is amazing. Look at it. Let's go up. We're going up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we can get in the cockpit. I think it might be locked. Let's check it out. Oh no, you can climb right in. Look at that. Remember that scene from Son-in-Law from Polly Shore? Woo, it's good to get out of the rain for a second. Wow. Look at this, so cool. And there's the pyramid that we just climbed. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> Coming through. All aboard. I love old tractors. It's not every day you see an old Oliver tractor like this one. I'm really enjoying this place. Well guys, the weather Took a turn and it started raining more, but thought I'd grab a cup of hot cider to warm me up. I also grabbed some of the apple cinnamon donuts to sit here and enjoy. I'm bringing you with me here. Have a bite. But thanks again, Jacob's family and uh, Stephanie, for allowing me to uh, walk around, film, and get a little snack. Oh man, that's good. Oh, it's so good and warm. Oh, look at that, it's gonna fog up the lens. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> so, check out the Jacobs Family Orchard if you haven't already. Yes, I got the glasses. Well, it's not over yet. Let's head down the street. See what else we can find here in Mount Summit, Indiana. Oh, oh, burnt my tongue. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put my seatbelt on before I started the camera. <laughs> oh boy. Well, guys, I'm standing in front of what used to be the Brooks Company Brooks Ketchup Factory where my grandfather worked for over 30 years. Not only one grandfather, but two grandfathers and their fathers. So you can say my whole family used to work in this building at the Brooks Ketchup Bottling Factory here in Mount Summit, Indiana. So because of the weather, I'm gonna wrap it up and I thought this would be the, the perfect backdrop and I'm glad to be back home again in Indiana. And it was a, it was a beautiful time. Um, but again, thank you for joining me in my journeys. I really appreciate everyone tagging along with me. And as I've said before, it's only just begun and there is much ahead. Thank you for watching. Tampa Jay here. I'll see you next time. Mmm. Man, you're good.